Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be checking out the Rainbow Festival, which is a little late, but Star Stable was having some trouble on Wednesday with their Wi-Fi and their servers being down, so they decided to wait and put the update up today. So we're going to be checking that out. There's a lot of exciting things. Also, it's double star coins weekend, so I ended up stocking up on some star coins. So we might buy some of this stuff in the little cloud place. I forget what it's called. Um, but at least I definitely have enough for a new horse, which is supposed to be coming out next week. They're coming out with the third variation of colors for the Aquatechies next week. So be sure you guys are saving for that. Get some double star coins if you can. But we are going to go check out the Rainbow Festival. Alright, so I also got to level 20 the other day because I actually did some archaeology in Epona. So, we're now level 20. I know you guys kept telling me, oh my gosh, you're so close. I'm finally there. Just barely, as you can see. Um, but anyway, we're going to talk to Micah Stoneground and see what she has to say. What if I told you that there are other worlds besides the one you know? New frontiers to discover just over the horizon. It's true. My name is Micah Stoneground, adventurer extraordinaire, and I came to Jorvik in the footsteps of my uncle Nick. Maybe you've heard of him. That little guy is Pico, my brave companion. Okay, he's not that brave, he's just a frog, but he brings out the bravery in me. On the way to Jorvik, our balloon got caught in a storm. The only thing I could do to keep it from capsizing was to go up, up, up above the storm clouds. It was there that I glim glimpsed something beyond belief, a whole world in the clouds with glittering waterfalls, fluffy forests, even a castle. But before I could investigate further, a fierce wind blew my balloon back towards the earth. It's almost as if someone didn't want us to be there. I've been searching for this mysterious cloud kingdom ever since Pico and I have set up a base camp in the sky. Just step into my balloon and I'll meet you above the clouds. You can even bring your horse. Alright, let's go. Yes, I want to travel. Okay. All right, here we go. I love this little image right here. Oh, that was fast loading. Um, okay. Um, so here's, let's go finish our quest with Micah. Welcome to Zenith Base Camp. Glad you could make it. And you brought your horse, that's good. There are mysterious forces at play here in the clouds and the best way to experience it is on horseback. In fact, we could even make, we could even turn our expeditions into a race. Have fun in the clouds, Brave Explorer, and be careful where you step. It's a long way down. Alright. So. Let's see here. You know, I've never actually experienced this event before. As sad as it is. Um. So this is new for me. Okay. We're also going to have to check out the rainbow that appears every 30 minutes. That should be fun. Let's see what the shop has. Oh. Oh, this is cute stuff. Probably gonna hold off though. Just because. Um. I don't wanna spend all of my star coins, but this is really cute tack and um, outfit. Tempting, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna hold off. Okay, so we didn't get 
um, all of the golden horseshoes. Which I saw some on like little ledges and stuff. I didn't know how I could get. I even tried to turn around and go back for some, but we still got 250 XP, so that's pretty good. Um, we're gonna see what's over here now. Okay, I think this is the last one. So now we have everything. Alrighty. I'm pretty sure. Because so I think there's seven. I think I've gotten all seven? Oh well. Well, it's time to go on a rainbow hunt because I really want all of that rainbow tack. It's really cute. And I already have the, um, the tailbow and the main. Oh, if you guys want these, um, you might already have them. But if you don't, you can enter the code rainbow main and rainbow tail and it'll give you these. So be sure to do that if you would like to complete uh, the tax that you can get from the leprechaun with the tail and uh, main bow because I think they make... A wonderful addition so make sure you guys get those if you don't have them already all right so we're rainbow hunting now and it appears we have found our first one and it looks like we're pretty close to the end so let's go see what we have Okay, I really don't feel like reading all of this. Looking for rainbow gold. To be able to find rainbow gold, you need to look in the mounds of dirt on the ground. Near the rainbow, you'll find a mini game to look through the mound of dirt. The better you do, the more rainbow gold you'll find. Once you've gotten enough rainbow gold, talk to Chan and trade it for lovely gifts. 
Rainbow moves around a lot, so hurry once you see it pop up somewhere if you're lucky. You'll be able to search for a while before it disappears again. The rainbow can pop up in places you're not able to visit yet. So if this happens, you have to wait till it comes back to you. Okay, well I have all the places unlocked, so that's not an issue. Okay, let's try to get some of this awesome stuff. <laughs> Dang it! Ugh, I should have let it go past. Okay. Um. Well, we got seven. We're getting there. Okay. So we have four left. I've already gotten some off camera. I paused because I was talking to my club member, and then two people who watch my channel approached me. I didn't know if they wanted to be on a video or not. So I stopped recording, but, um, oh my gosh, look how many people are here. This is insane. Frost Valley isn't a very big server either, so, like, there's not a lot of people. So seeing that many people together is kind of shocking for me. <gasps> it's, yeah, it's basically like a, like a unplanned stampede. This is really funny, actually. Oh my gosh. Alright guys, so we have found everything out of the tag set except for the helmet. I went to like four or five different rainbows, got almost all of the piles, and turned in all of the, the little gold rainbow coins or whatever, and I still couldn't get it. So unfortunately, I don't have that to show off to you, but the rest of the tag set is adorable. The saddle has like embroidery that's rainbow, and it's so cute. So I'm really digging this. I will look for the helmet at a later time, but I really wanted to get this video out to you instead of spending my whole day looking for it. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize I didn't have much commentary for this. I just wanted you guys to see um, everything and a lot of it was best done sped up so this video wasn't super long. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye!